Welcome to this brief video on how to access the PDE SAS web portal as well as how to register for an account and to log into your account and to briefly navigate some of the features of the system. So to begin, if you've never been on the SAS website, you can type in the address bar. It's PDESAS.org or you could just type in the search bar PDE SAS and the website link will come up. So if you just click on it, it'll direct you to the SAS portal. So to begin, you want to create an account. So we're going to go over to this yellow box that says login. And if you do not have an account already, you're going to select register. You can fill in your information and press create. And then it will give you the opportunity to uh, log in. So we're going to go over here and I'm going to go ahead and log in to my portal. And I know that I'm logged in because it has my name over here on the yellow box. So there are two navigation areas on the SAS portal. There's this list that always remains along the top of the web page. Um, and you can click on each. And underneath of, e underneath of each of the options, there are a variety of pages that you can go to. Curriculum Framework. And as you can see, there are a number of different areas that offer a pretty significant variety of resources. The second way that you can access a menu would be to click on this yellow box over here on the right. Um, and it allows you to do a little bit more customization of the SAS portal for yourself. So if I were to go over here to profile, I would see the information that I already have set up. Um, my personal information, my login information, um, the organization that you work for in your role. You can also go down through and you can set up preferences for the type of content that you would like to see. A couple of things that I'd like for you to be aware of. The ePortfolio is a free document housing site on the SAS portal. So anything that you might find on the SAS portal that you believe is worthwhile and you don't want to have to hunt for, you can save it to the ePortfolio and I'll show you how to do that in another lesson. Um, you can create your own website and it'll allow you to share the link to the website with others either through emails or um, you could post it in your classroom. Um, you can build assessments using the assessment tools. Um, you can develop a curriculum map, develop your SLOs. Um, there are several templates uh, that assist with that process. Um, communities is another thing that we would like uh, to begin working with here in the district. And finally, the Professional Development Center is an area where you can find online approved Act 48 professional development activities uh, and hopefully you'll be able to take some time to explore that area as well. When you're all done you can um, log out of the portal and be ready to move on to the next activity.